I was going ahead and doing this. Props for you. As for me, I wasn't too great in art, so in my memory, I'm not even taking a chance. So I make a, a wannabe template. And here we go, this is how I'm gonna memorize where all the bows go. Oh my, it's sticking out. For those that don't know, that's the KDP right there. We are going to install it. Hmm. High strengthened thread lock. We're not taking no chances. All right, we need a punch. Here, it is down here. This won't work. So we got a lock to. Alright, let's get into business. Okay. Yeah. I would think like that much, maybe. But I don't have no intention on ever taking this off. Alright. That looks really good. I can see the tighten up. I actually don't have no wear or oh, wear marks. Oh yeah, I do. Right here in the front. Up. And Miss Aubrey went ahead and chopped it up for me. How oh, Aubrey, tell him. So we glued it to a little core board. There you go, we don't need it perfect. We're not building a piano. I'm gonna go steal a coat hanger from the wife. Ooh. It's perfect. I'm calling that, that's perfect. But I'm too low paint marks. But 12.5. I made it was just a little bit off and the same for down here the little white mark you have that little plastic piece enough so that flat groove that you see sets in here so I know it's like this but I'm gonna watch I'm gonna let y'all watch so I'm gonna set it in there right here and then I'm gonna twist it Oh, there it went. Now it went in there. I've been having uh, some bad luck. I haven't broke one already. Pin timer. Got this piece of hanger, metal hanger, set on zero. I hope that doesn't move. Let's see. That wasn't too bad. The tool, two bolts. <clears throat> Whoa! Okay, it will make your heart skip a beat just a little bit.
So move the motors, turn it over. Yep, it's going the right way. It's going the right way? Yep. You're about halfway. Halfway? You're almost there. Mm -hmm. Alright. You're on the red. I'm on the red. Let's mm -hmm. pass it up a little bit. Okay. You passed it up. A good bit? Mm, yeah, you're on the 10. Alright, coming back the other way. Let me know whenever we get on the mark. A little bit more. Keep going. A little bit more. <laughs> okay. Right there? Yep. Okay, let me get this tool out. Okay, so if it's not right, get the blame on you. Yep. Okay. La la. La la. <laughs> Turn the motor over with this little guy. Perfection. Thanks, sweetie. All right. So now we went seven degrees. So it was at 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 degrees, or 19 and a half. So we're around 19 and a half now. <coughs> I'm climbing inside for this one. This thing has got some weight. Uh oh, still got a fuel line hooked up. Made it, made it. Oh, goodness. Right, let's get out of here. So, this guy is not light. I know I watched a few videos. They said the same thing. Well, it's my turn to say it. It's not light. The tapper cover is out. Time to clean up and get the new one in. All right. Got the injector pump out. So we're just gonna leave it there, put on ice chest. So the reason we're taking it out, so we could change that old tap of cover right there. Oh look, we got a mud diver nest on top of it. Oh, we're getting closer guys, getting closer. Stop now. Let me go ahead and keep on going. And if I did not mention, this is the eBay special right here. Most of my stuff comes from eBay. All the internal rubbers, internal seals. All the seals are in. Just say it every cuss word that is in the book. Guy, right the hell there. I tried videoing to show y'all. There's two bolts that it takes to put that in. 
one between this little canister and the pump and the other one is on the other side that dude right there just kicked my ass tapper cover is in fuel pump is in if I knew what I knew now I would have not took that pump out hell no I and I torque these down to 15 foot pounds I don't know Make sure you wipe all the oil out. Clean it up really good.
I've been working on the oil pan gasket. So I cut a two by six right here. Ratchet strapped it on the back side so I can keep it in place from wobbling back and forth. It's all the way up guys. Like you can't even put your hand back there. So you're gonna have to raise it all the way up if you attempt it this way. Everything else, everywhere else I look, it said you had to go ahead and take out the transmission. Right, let's get down here so I can show you. You're gonna have to take these bolts right here and you're gonna have to make sure you give it slack because if not, it'll catch on this little lip right here. And that goes for both sides. You'll see when you start working on it. All right, got it all cleaned up. Scraped up. Alright, so it's all scraped up. Now we're about to go ahead and put the seal on. Easiest way I found to do is to take a razor blade and just take your time and just scrape every single spot. Oil pan. All right, guys. Update. This is when I'm about to do the compound turbos. I went ahead and drilled the hole. That's my fitting for my oil feed. I do my compound turbos. About to get it prepared for the oil pan gasket. Okay. One at a time. Start in the middle, left, right, left, right, left, right, all the way to the front. Then come back to the middle, right, left, right, left, right, left, all the way to you finish. I don't know. Hello, my torqued and I find it a lot easier to go ahead and torque them while the motor still lifted up and in case I didn't show you that's what it looks like the motor mounts all right let me clean up let me get out of here okay recap Front main, front seal, KDP, advanced the timing, upgrade the tapper cover, had to remove that injector pump, oil pan gasket, had to undo the motor mounts, jack it up. But that's a recap. Stay tuned. It's where I work and you watch.